the MCC World Cricket Committee is very valuable in the sense that you've got top cricket minds getting together talking about cricketing issues and uh, for me to be able to uh, get to know what other people, what other great thinkers of the game are, are thinking is very valuable and can take that back to our various committees and hopefully make uh, inform, better informed decisions um, using their expertise. I enjoyed it. Um, touched on, on quite a few topics that I think are relevant to, to the game currently and um, you know being around some of these illustrious names from the past um, you know, it's good to hear their views as well. Uh, it, was, it was interesting, very interesting. I think a World Test Championship would be fantastic for Test cricket and, and all, all cricketers would embrace that. You really want to know who the best team in the world is. Um, I think a lot of times you sort of get a feel for that, but if there's some definitive um, outcome and there's an actual final for the best team in world cricket, then that would really add value to uh, all Test cricket playing nations. Um, you could actually say you are definitely the best team in the world and it's something for a lot of teams to aspire to. And, even the teams down six, seven and eight, um, it's, it's a real carrot to dangle for those teams to try and improve and to get up the ladder. Corruption, without a doubt, one of the most uh, important issues for, for everybody to grapple with. It's not just us as the MCC, it's the ICC and everybody involved and I think the players can take a, a big role in it. We, we ought to be talking to, to the captains. And uh, yes, massive issue uh, and something that's uh, it's got to be on the agenda, if not at the top of the agenda all the time. I was particularly interested uh, in, in hearing what uh, the experts on hotspot and, uh, and ball tracking had to say. Um, that was, it was most interesting and, uh, and most informative. Uh, so it's a big issue in, in cricket at the moment and uh, there's no doubt that we as a, a committee support the DRS, no doubt about that, uh, mainly because uh, you know, we want the cricketers to feel as though they're getting as many decisions as possible uh, that are right. I think that there is a general agreement that it's a good thing for the game, that it's here to stay, that cameras and ball tracking devices and hotspot and snicko can perceive things that the human eye can't easily perceive, can add to the mass of data that end up with good decisions. And I think personally that we've gone beyond the stage now of thinking that technology is only to get rid of the howlers. Because actually the discriminations that you can make with the aid of technology are so fine and so accurate if the thing is all set up properly and with that caveat, um, and so reliable uh, that actually one can just get a higher and higher percentage of decisions right. And I think that's very good for the integrity of the game.